Here are a couple of things you should consider before building a set of wood stairs on a dirt path or a walkway. And I, I run into this a lot. And uh, that, of course, would be the dirt itself. Now, if we look at the top step there, we can see that the dirt's a little low uh, uh, on the edges there. And it's kind of looks like it's mounding up around the center. But this could actually become a trip hazard. Uh, if this dirt uh, erodes away and uh, you get to where you got a half inch, three quarters or inch, anything bigger than an inch could create a problem. Now, the opposite will also create a problem, a little too much dirt. And here you can see the dirt's uh, going over just a little bit, but it's actually going over. The arrow's pointing to the second board. So there's actually another, looks like another two by six behind here. So this is probably, it's the same as the previous or the original picture, the first picture that I showed you in the video. Now the dirt's actually covering that board. Now we all know what dirt's going to do that is covering um, wood. When it becomes wet, it's going to start to rot the wood out. So that, that's another problem you're going to run into. So really, you could run into um, uh, not having enough dirt, creating a trip hazard, too much dirt, um, going over the <coughs> wood step, um, rotting the wood. Now, don't forget that if the, the soil is a little gritty, it's a little sandy, and it's over the wood, it could actually be slippery, too. So this is going to create another problem um, once the wood becomes slippery. And, and soil that is going over one step could actually get tracked onto the next steps, um, adding to the safety hazard. So you're going to have more. And I've seen this on decks and stuff like that. Uh, you have uh, a gritty um, soil and it uh, gets transferred down pretty soon. It's on all the steps and it's created a real slippery surface to walk up and down. Another problem you could run into with wood stairs and dirt, you know, gravel, any, any walkways that aren't going to be permanent, like concrete or some kind of a brick paver, would be the riser height changing. As soil erodes away from the stairs, it's going to make the step a little taller. As the dirt and debris piles up around the stairs, it's going to make it a little smaller. And again, this could create a problem for... Um, the stairway also. Now you see the debris, you got leaves and stuff like that. Some of it's hanging on to, you know, hanging over onto the stairway. You know, this, this stuff could be easily removed, uh, but, it, but it's also could create a problem. If you aren't removing enough of it, the debris is going to build up. And, and again, it will start, once it's next to the wood, it's going to start rotting it. And you can actually see here that they use some type of a pressure treated wood. Um, pressure treated wood rots. Let's not forget that. Um, does it last longer than regular wood? Sometimes it does. But uh, the whole goal here would be to make the stairway last as long as, you, as long as you possibly can and keep it as safe as you possibly can. <clears throat> and these, this could actually be a problem. With these stairs, you are going to need to maintain the soil levels and you will need to maintain the debris around them. So if you build a set of stairs like this on a dirt path, something like that, just don't forget, it's going to require a little more maintenance um, sometimes than if you had a concrete set of stairs with a concrete walkway.